club students. So for your weapons challenge, we're going to try something a little different than a trick. Uh, what we're working on is what I like to call you controlling your weapon, not your weapon controlling you. When sometimes I look around in class, what I kind of see, for instance, and this is with all weapons, but uh, commas, for instance, with a seven strike, which should look like that, I see kind of like sloppy, just little moves. And you're not really, you're letting your weapon control you more so than you controlling your weapon. So to practice getting up to really being used to holding our weapons and controlling our weapons, you can take any weapon you want. So commas is just what I happen to have, but you can use your sticks, you can use your bow staff, even your nunchucks. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna practice, you're gonna start up, so the very end of the weapon, and you're just gonna let it fall just a little bit and grab it. And with this, I'm working on controlling, not letting the blade move. It's gonna stay straight in front of me. So this way I'm controlling everywhere this weapon goes. So, oh, see, it kind of went to the side. That's what I don't want. So I want to try my best to control it and not let it go where it wants to go. It goes where I want it to go. And this is just a fun way to practice. If you want to put pillows around your feet, so in case you do drop it, you don't stab your feet, that's fine. There's my pillow. <laughs> um, but like I said, you can use any weapon you want. Um, just work on just these little moves and you know, so while you're watching TV or whatever for about five minutes, but again, not letting it control you, not letting it go wherever it wants, you control your weapon. Go.